my Wacom bamboo finally died, so I had to replace it. This is the XP Pen Star 3 version 2. At first I was skeptical. I needed something that had the same quality, if not better, than my bamboo. The XP Pen comes with a USB cable, a stylus holder, and a tip as well as a tip remover holder. In the plastic bag with the warranty, you will find the actual stylus. It has two buttons and doesn't require any battery to operate. This is the tablet. And without the warranty and the manual, this is all that is included. But before we continue, the obligatory peeling ASMR. I love the mix between matte and shiny surfaces, even though the shiny surfaces are basically fingerprint magnets. The size is perfect. The texture feels great. The pen holder is particular because you have the pen tip holder at the bottom. You just screw them together and you have your pen holder. And it has a little bit of weight to it. I'm guessing something around 60 grams. So I plugged in the tablet with its micro USB cable and Windows automatically detected it. Now I'm left handed so of course everything was reversed so I had to install the app in order to fix that. When it comes to the feel of it, the pen tip is a little more blunt than the bamboo. So the stylus feels less sharp. The matte texture allows your stylus to glide on the surface without slipping, giving you good feedback of what you're doing. Which is something that I always love about those tablets as opposed to something like an iPad, for example. So in order to install the driver or the little software that comes with it, I had to go to xppen.com. I selected my product and then I was prompted with the available software. It installed uh, pretty fast and this is what the software looks like. It's, it seems kind of old. It seems like it needs a revamp. You cannot maximize the screen, but it gives you all the options that you need. As you can see, you can customize pretty much every button. There are eight buttons on the tablet and there's two buttons on the stylus itself. You can customize the pen pressure and everything. My favorite part is that as you can see here, I have three screens and I can select the active area on any part of those screens. Another interesting feature is that you can rotate the area. So for me being left-handed, I only had to put it on 180 degrees. Now the software already comes with predetermined shortcuts for those eight keys, but of course you can modify them. You seem to be also able to set them to change depending on which application you're using. So that could be very useful in the future. This is the part where I open up Photoshop and I just play around the pen pressure just to feel it. It claims to have 8,192 levels of pen pressure. I don't know if my brain can actually detect all those levels, but it definitely feels pretty smooth. When I have a very, very big brush, it's kind of hard to go to those fine, fine lines. But this is something that I was used to with the Wacom tablet. Overall, I really like this tablet and I would recommend it, especially if you're a beginner. Hopefully I'll be able to review some more professional ones in the future. If you would like to grab one, there will be a link in the description. Thank you for watching.